Tell a lie then make a promise Fish like a mad nigga fish Hit nigga this a fucking hit Send a nigga a whole full clip Dramatized by the whole trip What's going on guys it's Gary and today you guys a no video and this is going to be a plugin overview of a plugin called Lazy Nuzumi and uh, I have nothing bad to say about this at all and uh, I really think that everyone's going to like this video just because it defeats the purpose of Illustrator and Photoshop and uh, if you guys have ever tried to use your graphics tablets or the brushes on Illustrator or Photoshop you guys know there will be a major difference between lines and how excuse me how uh, they look and etc so oh excuse me again so basically this is honestly the best plugin in my mind for Photoshop that I've came across for Illustrator, people that want to make signatures and just people that just want to draw for fun. So uh, if you go to lazynazumi.com you guys will be brought to this website and there will be a uh, pretty much like a home screen, like a nice layout showing you like the people that use it and stuff. But uh, if you want to like actually try it, what you want to do is just click download and it will just download the uh, trial for you. Also, you can click buy now, and then it costs thirty-five dollars for the pro version, and uh, it's just something really nice to do. So if you guys use this in a month, and you guys really like this, you guys can just buy the full version, and it'll be ready to download just like this one. So uh, once that's done downloading, all you want to do is install it, and then restart your computer, and then open Photoshop back up. And this usually pops up this little lazy Nozomi Pro screen, but you might have to open it yourself in your uh, startup menu. So uh, I'm gonna move my mic away for a little bit and put it a little bit next to me so I can grab my graphics tablet. So right here on this little drop down menu, this is pretty much where all the magic happens. This is where all the presets are. So they have a bunch of constraint ones, um, miscellaneous and then smoothing. If you guys are using a tablet, smoothing is the way to go. Constraint is for like special lines and then I haven't really messed around with miscellaneous. I just didn't find a use for it. So uh, right here in the uh, soothing, the pressure gain, this is going to be pretty much the ideal thing to use for signatures. So you can pretty much mess around with these little boxes. Um, you guys can move the screen out of the way. It's put in the top like left hand corner. And if you grab your brush, brush, you guys can really tell that now it's all pressured. So uh, not only will it like pressure your brush almost, but it will make the uh, strokes so much cleaner. So uh, if you guys have ever used a brush instead before using a graphics tablet, you guys will know that uh, brush strokes usually look like that or something, something really bad, or like I'm trying to draw like a good line that kind of ends like this. Or if you draw a circle, it'll like bend around in some corners, but you can pretty much draw anything. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, when I'm drawing, my uh, mouse leaves a like purple little like arrow line or something to follow. That's something really cool that this does. It pretty much gives you like, a guideline of where you're going. The next one that is really cool on this is pulled string and I just really like this because it's so cool because you look around like pull a string to make a line. You guys can see that I'm pulling a uh, blue string around to make the line and this makes it a lot more cleaner in a sense. Look at this. You guys can pretty much pull a string around, draw whatever you guys can draw. Draw a little like, smiley face and you pretty much just draw anything you want. So. Uh, that's pretty much the uh, the smoothing kind of stuff for it. They have weighted uh, speeds and stuff like that. But if let's just say you're gonna go do a constraint, you guys don't have a graphics tablet, you guys want to make a really nice straight line. Let me just put my graphics tablet back down. So uh, let's just say you want to use this and you want to figure out how to use it. What you want to do is just pretty much click this, and there'll be a menu brought up. And I'm gonna go move my uh, brush size back down to like eight. All right, and you guys can make literally a perfect circle zoom in do it again and you, you guys literally can make just these perfect circles so you guys can tell that this is actually really good for stock use and there's more it's not just you guys can make ellipses you guys can make connected lines there's some uh, fish eye perspectives isometric you guys can really draw something so you guys can like go like this if you stop let's we'll say right here you guys can go up Just draw a really bad box. Fuck. Oops. I messed up. Messed up drawing a box. There you go. And done. You guys can draw like literally endless amount of things with this. And uh, the reason why I definitely think this is probably the best thing is because it totally just makes everything so much easier to do. You have a perspective. You guys have radial lines fade in. So you guys can draw like really cool like swirly lines and stuff like this. 
and uh, just really cool to do. But uh, not only can you do stuff like this, but you guys can actually like change everything. You can change like the interpolation, uh, the distance scripting. You guys can literally go on and on with this. It's not just kind of. I don't want to put it, say it's not limited because it is, but it's just a, not a very restricted kind of a uh, software or plugin. You guys can literally do anything you guys want with it, and that's probably why I recommend this Lazy Nazumi Pro. And uh, if you guys want, there'll be a download link in the description. And if this video hits 100 likes, I'll be giving away a full free pro version of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely download this if you guys are getting into illustration. You guys want some clean lines to make some stocks with. Um, definitely something I'd worth checking out. It just defeats the purpose of Illustrator. And then every tutorial I do in Illustrator, you guys can do right with me in Photoshop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, leave a thumbs up as I said before. I'm going to be doing more plug-in videos later on throughout the months. So uh, I hope to see you guys then. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. See you guys later. Peace out.